What is an effect throw and how do you set one up in Cubase to use in your own song? An effect throw is a type of ear candy that you hear a lot in songs where an effect happens for a split second or maybe a bar or two and then it disappears. Something like this or something like this. The gist is that the effect happens, it adds interest and emphasis, it maybe creates a special moment in your song, and then it disappears. If you've been a Cubase user for any amount of time, you'll know that it's a really flexible platform, and so there's always multiple ways to do a single task, and this is no different. In this video, I'm showing you two methods that I use to set up effect throws. The first method is going to use an effects channel and send automation, and method number two is going to use rendered in place audio or MIDI with an effect as an insert. So the video is going to be time stamped if you want to go ahead and jump to one of the methods and so let's get started all right method number one the send method it's three steps for the demonstration i have a mono audio track with a vocal on it so before i begin let's preview how this sounds now i only feel better when you're here Okay, so I want to put a delay throw on this word to fill up the space between these two phrases. Step number one, we're going to add our effects track. So whatever channel you want to add your effect throw to, make sure it's selected. So I want to do the vocal here. I'm going to right click, go to add track, and go FX channel to selected channels. It's going to open up this add track window. You can select an effect here if you already know what you want to use. I do want to use the ping pong delay, so I'm going to go with that. You can do different configurations here as well. I'm going to stick with stereo and I'm going to call this FX delay throw. Then click add track. As you can see, it's added my effects channel here. And because I selected a plugin in the add track menu, it opens that for me right away. Step number two is setting up your effects. So if you want to add additional things, you can do so here as you normally would for your effects. And one thing I want you to keep in mind is that when you're adding your effects, if there's an option for a dry, wet mix, you're gonna want it to be 100% wet. What that means is it's 100% process signal because out of this effects channel, I only want the ping pong delay coming out of it. I also have a preset that I wanna use for this, so I'm gonna select that here. Now, step number three is writing our automation. So I'm gonna come back to my audio track here. And when I open the settings, you can see that it's added a delay throw sent in my send section of this. By default, it's usually at 0.00. .00. You can change this value by either double clicking and entering in a number or clicking and dragging left to right. So there's no gain being sent, so no signal is going to go through. So nothing's coming out of the effects throw here to a whole lot is going to be coming out if you're up there. So. So that's how you change the values within this window here. So writing automation, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that in this channel settings, you, you select write automation. You can also do it up here, but this activates write automation for everything in your DAW. And I don't wanna mistakenly write automation somewhere that I don't really want it. So I'm gonna just select this channel. And then I'm going to go to the start of this phrase, press play. And then I'm going to add some send gain and get some delay going. And let's see if my timing is right. I only feel better when you're All right, so that's how you write automation. That's one way. You can see that Cubase has opened an automation lane for me below the audio track and that this is what I did in real time. Not bad, not great, but not terrible. And you can tweak it got different points here so you can change things really tighten it up however you want now just as a bonus another way to write automation you can see if it didn't open this up if you just wanted to draw it with the pencil tool you would just show slash hide automation you'd open this up you'd come down here to add a track and then go to more sends and then select here and level and then you would just draw in this is typically what I do because I can be more precise with things. That's method number one. Three steps done. All right, method two. We are going to render in place. This works for audio. This works for MIDI as well. I'm going to stick with my mono audio vocal track here. And I want to add a reverb in here somewhere. So three steps. Step number one. You're going to select the audio segment or MIDI segment that you want. 
On a Mac, you're going to hold Option and right click. On a PC, you hold Alt and right click. And you're going to go down to Render in Place and check your render settings. I have some effects on my inserts here with some compression, some EQ, and I do want that to be rendered in the audio. So I'm going to check this processing here and I'm going to select this one, render this file to include inserts, effects, EQ, and channel strip settings. You could also do any of these other options. You just hover over to find out what they are. If you select dry, it's just going to copy all your effects over. This is supposed to save a little bit of processing power as you get further in mixing in the mixing process. I'm going to call this the reverb throw with my custom name and then I'm going to render that out. Awesome. So now you see it's rendered out there are no inserts on this track now because it's printed onto the audio. If I go back here, you see I have my inserts here. So this will sound just like what we heard. I only feel better. You also notice that it carried over these sends as well, which you can turn off here like that. But I want to have this on a stereo track, so I'm going to create a new audio track. Because if you've noticed, when it rendered it out, it stayed as a mono track. It didn't change those settings. So I'm going to move this here. Move it on down. Step number two is to select what kind of effect I want. And I do want to use a reverb here. So I'm going to go to Reverence. And I'm going to Martial Arts Stadium Sounds Fun. So let's go with that. And make sure the mix is 100% wet. So we're just getting reverb signal here. We're not getting any of the original dry signal. So now you'll hear the vocal and it sounds like it's being sung in a martial arts stadium. And now I know that I want it to be on certain phrases. So this is step number three. We're going to select the phrases and then blend it back in with our original signal. So to select those phrases, you're going to use your split tool, which you can come up here and use and select. And I actually, I want the reverb on the breath. And let's leave it on the better so you can hear that. And then you just select whatever you don't want. You click it and delete. So now you'll hear. And to blend it back in, when we rendered out our audio, it muted the audio up here. So you come up to your mute tool and select. And then you come down and you click your audio and you see it brightens right back up. Now you'll hear it, this original signal with this reverb signal here. I only feel better. Then just use the volume knob here to blend it in with the original signal as you like. You can do some additional effecting. You can pan it left, you can pan it right and do some automation here if you would like. That's method number two in your toolkit. Let's go. That's it for effect throws. I know there's probably a million ways to do this. If you explore and you find a way that works better for you, that is always the best thing is figuring out how you hear things, how you want things to sound. So I do encourage you to explore Cubase and music in general. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time on your creative journey with me. I do hope that I see you again in the future, whether you subscribe or I come up in your search again some, somewhere down the line. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you again soon.